I'm going to start with you, Eric. From what you saw last mm. night, who should be the starter for the Browns? You know, what he just said was perfect. You know, uh, slow the game down. You know, you can't go in the hole thinking. That's for, that's for any NFL player. And for a young quarterback to have that awareness right now, you know, not saying, well, you know, I'm trying to get the ball down deep or, you know, I'm, I'm trying to evaluate everything. I'm trying to do this. I'm trying to do, I'm trying to do a thousand things. He said, I want to slow the game down. So it's mm. slowed down basically in his mind. To me, I think Baker Mayfield should be the starting quarterback. Yeah. Because go, hey, that's why they drafted him. Yeah. That's why they drafted him number Finally one. Finally got a little wisdom I on mean, the show. <laughs> 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 so I see we agree on something. <laughs> <laughs> that, that uh, you know, he's a guy that gives them that swagger. Now, everybody now may not agree with his swagger. I like his swagger. I really do. I thought he was accurate coming out of college. Those two passes showed his accuracy. That pass to David Ojoku. I mean, it had to be right there. I mean, yeah. or, or it's knocked down, or it's, it's an interception. Should have been picked anyway. Yeah, but, but it wasn't picked. That's the thing. It wasn't picked. Should have been, but it wasn't. <laughs> <laughs> and so, and, and and the second pass to Callaway, mm. that was a strike. If, yeah, if, that was if, if, if it's if it's a foot, uh, maybe even ten inches behind him, it's slapped down, or it's it's, a, it's a, probably been, maybe that wasn't an interception, but it'd been dropped, the drop pass possibly. That those were, those are perfect passes. And to me, that you know, I don't want to say I can't say because he's not that guy yet, but Aaron Rodgers. When he came out, a guy told me, he said, Eric, he said, I asked him, I said, I said, what are y'all going to do when Brett retired? What are you going to do when Brett Favre retired? I said, you got a guy right now that can take his spot. I'm like, no way. Who? He said, remember the name Aaron Rodgers. Huh. I'm going to say, I'm not saying he's an Aaron Rodgers, but his accuracy, and I love accuracy. He's not a big guy. He's more like a Drew Brees. So I know it's killing you over him. I, I can see you, 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 you they're salivating. He's sweating. Yeah, I see sweating. You got to wait. Like, come on, give it to me. And I, I'll say it again. I'm not saying he's Aaron Rodgers by no means, but I like an accurate quarterback. And, I like him. I think he should start. I'm going to go over Tyrod. I still, I still believe early on Tyrod gives them the best chance to win. And Hugh Jackson is trying to hold on to his job, Skip. Now, <clears throat> remember, um, they're, I think they're at home opening day, but they're playing the Steelers. Yeah, it's With home. that zone blitz, that mm -hmm. fire zone, they're going to give – they cause young quarterbacks a lot of problems. But Tyrod didn't do anything. If Tyrod had the job going into camp, he had the uh, starting job going into the first game – what did he do that was so bad that you're like, man, you know what? We got to go with Baker. No. Nothing. He didn't do anything wrong. Baker made some good throws, but he made some. He had some bad throws <laughs> too, Skip. And he got a happy feet a couple of times. I just need you sometimes, Skip Bayless. I need you to take off like Cowboys and Baker Mayfield <laughs> and Dak Prescott colored glasses so you can see clearly. <laughs> I tried to tell you this was coming. I'm not saying, Skip, I'm not saying that at some point Baker shouldn't be there. I'm saying after last night's game, I don't think he did enough to take Tyrod considering how well Tyrod played. Now, we'll see. Hey, week three, game two for them. We'll, mm. He'll play a little more. Tyrod will play a little more. Game three will be very, very interesting. Mm. That will be your telltale. How much does Baker Mayfield play mm. in game three? Hmm. That will be telltale. <laughs> and if it's Hugh Jackson's decision, he'll play a lot. I mean, uh, Tyrod will play right. most of yeah. the most yeah. Of Oh, snap. yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. So, I'm ready to say happy trails, LeBron James, because happy days are here again for Baker Mayfield's Cleveland see. Browns. You could just see it all over the field last night. And my man Eric here, he saw it. It's just eye test. It's gut-level feeling. You watch Tyrod operate, and I love Tyrod. I have nothing but respect for him. He took a team to the playoffs last year. They stunk it up in Jacksonville, yeah. but, but a lot of teams stink it up in Jacksonville. Yes. But he, he was smooth and sharp last night when he operated with the first-team offense for two series. I, I have... That he did nothing wrong. I have nothing bad to say about Tyrod. But he's not Baker Mayfield. Baker's just better. You could just see it. The energy is off the charts. He is a competitive ball of fire. It's swagger. It's body language. Everybody gets more pep in their step when he's on the field. And he's with a mix of second teamers, a couple of first teamers, and eventually a bunch of third teamers. And he's just making it all click because they're rising to the occasion for him. And what a tough spot to get thrown into on the road against the second pick in the draft who had had a sensational first burst. So he, he set the bar up here. Then Tyrod took it up a whole nother level with two opening drives that were statement drives of this job is mine. Mm -hmm. And Baker Mayfield walked on the field and said, watch this. 
and he took over the night. He owned that game. He owned that stage. No stage is too big for him. He's fearless. He, he's this weird combination of careful gambler. I, I don't know how to explain it, but he doesn't throw interceptions. At Oklahoma, he threw 119 touchdowns to 21 interceptions. But he looks like he's rambling and gambling because he will buy time. He'll roll out. He'll try throws where you say, uh-oh, oh. that, that doesn't look like that's going to work. And it works. He's, he's very low interceptions. Again, I've tried to explain to this man. The last two years of college football in this, in this country, it was led in total QBR by Baker Mayfield twice in a row. That's hard to do. It shows you efficiency. Yeah. It shows you effectiveness. It shows you deadly accuracy. accuracy. His arm is it's just liver than Tyrod's. Tyrod has a nice arm. But you, think just, that, you, think he, you think he throws a better ball and has a strong arm than Tyrod? I do. No. I just do. It's more of a whip of an arm. Uh, you know, I don't know. I, I, I don't want to say yes. But you know, when you talk about ED like what he saw last night, first of all, ED didn't see nothing. You see the glasses he got on? ED KC. And I knew you ain't talking about nobody's <laughs> glasses. <laughs> That's not fair. Right there. <laughs> but I, mean, I can't see you right. But I yeah, yeah, but he, 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 can't, he can't see it all. <laughs> so he just... He, he, well, he should have put his goggles on. Yeah, right? that, that, he, well, he can see, he can see that, then. That's yeah. cold. But, but look, I get... I, like I said, let's go to week, let's go to week four. Now, uh, the third preseason game, how much does Baker, because, if, Skip, if he's going to start, he's going to play an awful lot with the mm -hmm. star turn. Yep. I'm not saying he's going to start the game, mm -hmm. but if he's going to start week one, yep. he's going to play an awful lot with the starters. Mm -hmm. And then come week four, if he doesn't play at all, he's starting week one, Skip. Okay. You know how this goes. Yeah, I know, I know. <laughs> you know how this goes. Look, so, look so, first of all, since 1999, the Browns have had, you know how many quarterbacks? A hundred. So you know, <laughs> 29 quarterbacks oh, since 1999. Well, now they, they got two. They, they, got, they got two. No, they really got, they got two, but they got one. Because, I mean, These that's, why, the best that's two. why you, it, uh, it's since 99. That's why no, you, no, that's why you, you drafted you, it. You could argue they have the best two that they've had in their history. Yeah. The, well, Otto. you got Bernie Kosar. And Otto Graham. I, I argue that's. That's somewhere way, 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 yeah, way, that's way, way back. back. Yeah. Brian Sipe was yeah. pretty good for a while. I know. Brian Sipe was yeah. pretty good. He was pretty good. Yeah, yeah, he's my era. Yep. You know, you're trying to think of, of, uh, of a word to kind of describe Baker Mayfield. And to me, I, the thing I loved about this guy, I'm going to say his name, is Brett Favre. He was not just a football. He was a quarterback. He was a football player. Right. I didn't look, and I look at Baker Mayfield mm. as a football player. Mm -hmm. He'll make things happen. And that, that, Brett was that same guy. Yeah. I mean, and, and also, I feel like John Dorsey and, and the Browns staff, the head office, has to not have Hugh Jackson looking over his shoulder. He said, look, I'm going to start Baker. If we start 0-4, I want to I, you know, I, I keep him. You know, give me, give me those two years. I mean, in two years, he's been 1-31. So, yeah. you know, of course he's on the hot seat, but he hasn't had much to work with most of the time. So I just feel like that this guy, Baker Mayfield, gives them a chance you know, to be the team they want because you said it. You said it best. I like his leadership quality. When he comes on the field, like in Oklahoma, Spark. they got yeah. Let's, let's get excited. We got a guy here. Mm -hmm. We call, even when they were good back in the day, we still called them the Cleveland Clowns. I yeah. mean, that's, that's that's what we called them. Yeah, the Cleveland. I mean, Cleveland. now I guarantee you, this guy, he like, oh no, we're not the Clowns anymore. We're mm -hmm. gonna change that persona, and that's that's what you want as your leader, as the guy who leads your football team. That's that's your quarterback. Tyrod is a cool customer. Mm -hmm. he, he's a smooth operator. But there's no juice to it. There, there's no Excitement. next level to nah, it. Yeah. He, he just, right? he, yeah, he just lunch pail guy, Skip. Okay. Uh, he, ain't, he ain't gonna be rah rah. He's just uh -huh. gonna punch the clock, uh -huh. come in, do his job, and get up out there. You know what I'm saying? But they, they follow it. Yeah. They oh yeah, yeah. That, that, I mean, but this guy, you get excited, man. Yeah. You're like, wait a second, big stuff's gonna start happening with this guy. Nice stuff will happen with Tyrod. Big stuff. Crazy yeah. big stuff. I mean, some guys you look forward like, man, I can't wait to see that joker tomorrow because I know something going to go, go, you know, go, go off. Yeah, yeah. Something <laughs> go, and, then, you know, that's Baker. You know, guys, like, they love playing with him. Tyrod is going to come in with a lunch pail, punch the clock, so, do what he does, do what he does, and get up out of there. John Dorsey put his tail on the line. He did. Because he went way out there against all the grain, and he took him over three other quarterbacks that all the mocks had going higher in the draft. Mm -hmm. And he took Baker Mayfield number one. And I said, good for you, because that's what I thought should happen. And I told you, Baker is the readiest of those four quarterbacks to play in the National Football League just because he does have high IQ. I don't know how hard a worker he is, because we saw in Hard Knocks, you pulled him aside and said, <laughs> what time did you get here? I was a little late today, Coach. Well, Tyrod walks in at 5.30 a.m. every morning on the dot and stays until everybody's gone. He told, Coach, he, <laughs> he told Hugh Jack, he said, you know, Tyrod got his thing. You say, when you going to get your <laughs> thing? <laughs> Love that. <laughs> True. <laughs> I, I, I got that. But 
John Dorsey knows that the future could be now because you can speed the growth up of Baker Mayfield. If it looks like he can stand up to the challenge of this, which I think he can, he's just not afraid. No, nothing bothers yeah, him. Yeah, but you can also stun it by putting him out there, too. You know, there is... Skip, you got time. What I mean, if you start, if you start Tyrod and you go, you know, let it, let this thing play out. Mm. You can all, you can always, you can always go to Tyrod. I mean, you can always go to Baker, but you do something to his, you do something to his confidence if he starts out and it doesn't go the way you think, and then all of a sudden you got to put Tyrod in there. You're gonna do something to Baker's confidence because mm-hmm. he's never been benched now. You, we get that that walking on, walking on is fine, but man, when, hey, Ed, I mean, you get benched is different. Hey, bro, I got. You. Yeah, I got this one. Yeah. But, I, okay. I, but I still feel like that that certain guys that have that mentality that, hey, no matter what, I'm going to play hard. and I'm, 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 I'm going I'm to get my job okay. done. I'm going to find a way to get it done. And I feel like with his attitude, I just feel like he's the guy that – get him out there. Let's, 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 get, let's, let's get it going. Let's start a new era. Man, it, you've it, been hanging around Skip too long. <laughs> <laughs> it goes both ways, though, because he is the player that thrives off being an underdog. Exactly. So the fact that mm-hmm. he's being told he's not going to start, you know it's only fueling him. His so whole life he's been told that. Him. His whole life. Yeah. So if he's being told he's not going to start, you know that that's going to push him that much more. Mm-hmm. I think it's a, it could be a good thing that he thinks he is not the number one you, guy right now. You don't right think now. he's known this moment before? He walked on at Texas Tech, and he starts the first game. That's a big deal. Yeah. It's, you played at Texas that's, Tech. That's it's a big, a big deal. stadium. Yeah. You know, it's a lot of people and a lot of high expectation. Then he just walks in the door at the University of Oklahoma and says, Coach, can I try out I for please? your team? Yeah, yeah, we'll t- we know you from Texas Tech. And he beats out the incumbent starter. He, yep. he beats him out. How, how do you do that? And you start at the University of Oklahoma. It's a big deal. And he's going to beat out Tyrod Ty Taylor, Rod, and he's going to Ty start Rod, against the Pittsburgh. Ty Rod, nope, he's going to start. Rod. And, and you just look at what he did. This, this is him. This is Baker Mayfield. He pulls Antonio Callaway over to the side. It's, it's in the fourth quarter. You're playing with a bunch of third stringers. Yeah. And he says, if you get single high, meaning single high safety yeah. coverage, yep. you just run the slant. Just run the slant, and I will get you the ball, and, it, and we will score. And it, it just played out exactly like that. It's another, it's third and He five. just had to win the route, Skip yeah. Bayless. Right. But he did. But he did. Tried, but but he did. Tried to, Skip tried to sell the people at home like he had to do so much. <laughs> you know what I'm saying. All you got to do is just win. Just win on the route and just get inside. 